question the the cat replica question generally it takes a half page to solve but once you understand you can solve this question in less than 1 minute in two steps question how many how many three digit numbers on cubing ends with first question how many three digit numbers on cubing ends with 28 how many three digit numbers on cubing the same question we did it for squares yesterday how many four digit perfect squares will have tens place odd number tens place even number unit digit so and so particular value how many three digit numbers on cubing ends with 28 first let me read the question he is saying that there is a three digit number let me call the three digit number as abc on cubing okay on cubing it is ending with which number it is ending with 28 it is ending with 28 now because it is ending with 8 just now we discussed a perfect square never ends with 2 3 7 or 8 on cubing i will get the tens minus unit digit 10 minus 2 8 10 minus 3 7 10 minus 7 3 10 minus 8 2 so for it to become 8 in the right hand side this should become 2. This should become 2. 2 cube is 8. I hope the concept is clear. So, first lowest number on cube. 2 cube is 8. 8 is 0, 8. 8 is 0, 8. But I require 28. Next number is 12 cube. 12 cube. If I do A plus B whole cube, I will get 1, 7, 2, 8. 12 cube, most of you know. 12 cube is 1, 7, 2, 8. 1728. So the lowest number on cube, I will get 28 at the end is 12 cube is 1728. What is the logic that we discussed? X cube and 50 plus X whole cube. X cube 50 plus X whole cube. Last two digits will be same. Last two digits. Last two digits will be same. When it will be same? When X is an even number. Is 12 an even number? Yes. So, if it is 12 cube, what will be the next number? 12 plus 50, 62 cube. What will be the next number if X becomes 62? 112. What will be the next number? 112 plus 50? 162. And so on up to 912, 962. I hope it is clear, right? First, we have to get the lowest number on cubing. Last two digits should be same. X cube. These ending with 8. Which number on cube ends with 8? 2 cube it is 8. But I want 28. 2 cube not possible. 12 cube is 1728. So, to get 28, the lowest two digits we got it is 12. The lowest two digits which we got is 12. We got 12. But we require a... 3 digit number. So, 100's place can range from 1 to 9. Yes or no? It can be 1, 12, 2, 12, 3, 12, 4, 12, 5, 12, 6, 12 and so on up to 9, 12. If it is 12, 50 plus 12, 62 cube. Next number is 62. I want a 3 digit number. So, 100's place can take any value from 1 to 9. 9 plus 9. Answer is how many 3 digit number on cubing I will end with? 28 answer for this question is 18 numbers are there what are that 18 numbers 112 162 212 262 312 362 412 462 and so on up to 912 962 the student who know this logic the student who know this logic this logic, it is just less than one minute. Only thing is, you have to find out the lowest number on cube, which one will end with 28. Once we got the value of x, then it is nothing but keep on addition of 50. x is 12. 50 plus 12 is 62. 62 plus 50 is 112. 112 plus 50 is 162. 162 plus 50 is 212 and so on up to. So, I got the lowest two digit number 12, 62. Because it is a three digit number, hundreds place can move from 1 to 9. Hundreds place can move from 1 to 9. 1 to 9, 1 to 9. 9 plus 9. 
9 plus 9, it is nothing but 18. 9 plus 9, it is nothing but 18. I hope the idea is clear. We are discussing the logic where x is an even number. Again, I will take a speed calculation class. Then we will discuss whether odd number it is possible. One more question, then we will do. How many, how many three digit numbers, how many three digit numbers on cubing, on cubing ends with one more problem we will solve so that the concept will be very easy to you. How many three digit numbers on cubing it ends with 44? It is ending with 44. Step number one. Step number one. It is a three digit number. Let me take three digit numbers less than 500. Why to take the same question? How many three digit numbers? How many three digit numbers less than 500 on cubing ends with 44? It is a three digit number. A, B, C whole cube. It is ending with 44. It is ending with 44. Because this is 4, we know that 4 cube only will give you 4 at the end. So the unit digit in the left hand side, it is nothing but 4. 4 cube, it is 64. 4 cube, it is nothing but 64. Suppose if I take the next number, 14 cube. That is exactly the reason why I discussed a cube 3a square b, 3ab square and b cube and b cube. These 1, these 3, 4s are 12, 16, 3s are 48, 4 cube is 64, 4. 6 carried, 48 plus 6, 54, 5 carried, 17, 2, 7, 4, 4. I got 44 at the end. So, 1 is 14 cube I will get, 14 cube plus 50, 64 cube I will get, I want a 3 digit number less than 500, 114 cube possible, 214 cube possible, 314 cube possible. 414 cube possible. Here, 164 cube possible. 264 possible. 364 possible. 464 possible. 4 plus 4. Totally, how many numbers are there less than 500? On cubing, it ends with 44. Answer is 8. ABC whole cube, it is nothing but 44. Which number on cube, I will get 4 at the end. 4 cube is 64. 4 cube is 64. Then I did 14 cube. Just to solve the problems easily, that is the reason I did A plus B whole cube. A plus B whole cube is a cube, 3a square b, 3ab square and b cube. So, 14 cube I got 2744. I need 44 at the end. 44 at the end. For 14 we got x cube and 50 plus x whole cube. Last two digits will be same. 14 plus 50, 64. 64 plus 50, 114. Plus 50, plus 50, plus 50. Plus 50, plus 50, plus 50, plus 50. I will stop at 464 cube because I want three digit numbers less than 500. I hope the idea it is clear. On cubing ends with 44. So to get 21, 1 cube it is 1. You can try it out 11 cube which is 1331. Try it out with 21 cube. In case if you are getting 21 at the end, take 21. Otherwise try it out with 31, 41 and so on. I hope the idea behind the question is crystal clear to you. How many three digit numbers less than 500 on cubing it ends with 44. Idea clear? Full sir. Every perfect square has a digital sum. Every perfect square has a digital sum. 1, 4, 7 or 9. But reverse reverse may or may not be true. But reverse may or may not be true. Please make a note of it, sir. But reverse may or may not be true. Very, very important key points. Every perfect square has a digital sum 1, 4, 7 or 9. But reverse may or may not be true. We will see the proof. Then we will understand it clearly. Anything, whatever I am explaining the concept. If need be, I will create a proof for it. Suppose see here. 
first we will underline some important keywords keyword first one it is digital sum what are the important keywords another it is perfect square and the digital sum value will be 1479 these are the three important keywords suppose 1 2 3 4 it is there digital sum or digit sum in both the ways or digital root all are synonyms digital sum digital sum is nothing but sum of the digits till a single digit is obtained digital sum is defined as sum of the digits till a single digit is obtained 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 is a two digit number so 1 plus 0 it is 1 1 plus 0 it is 1 2.37 2.37 point is not a digit so just add the digits 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 7 12 12 it is nothing but 3 12 it is nothing but 3 12 it is nothing but 3 2 12 it is nothing but 3 every perfect square has a digital sum 1 4 7 or 9 but reverse may or may not be true now because the definition of digital sum is till a single digit is possible all the digital sum values are digital sum all the digital sum values will range from 1 to 9 why because we are doing the sum of the digits till a single digit is obtained zero it is not possible if you add the digits if you add the digits a digit is zero that is not possible so what are all the values a digital sum will take it can take either one either two either three right or till nine because these are all the single digits that are possible digital sum definition is sum of the digits till a single digit is obtained next slide is extremely important sir digital sum now see here suppose what are all the various possible digital sums various possible digital sums are digital sum is nothing but the sum of the digits sum of the digits digital sum is nothing but the sum of the digits till a single digit is obtained these are all the possible digital sums these are all the possible digital sums suppose if i say 19 19 what is the digital sum 1 plus 9 10 1 plus 0 9 suppose if i take 299 what is the digital sum 2 plus 9 11 11 plus 9 20 20 it is 199 we will take 199 the digital sum is 1 suppose for example 8 11 digital sum is 1 this is the set of all the numbers whose digital sum is 1 set of all the numbers set of all the numbers where the digital sum is 2 set of all the numbers whose digital sum is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now listen carefully sir now listen carefully when i am explaining a concept i will not see the comments just have some patience suppose if i square it 1 square 1 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 16 digital sum is 7 5 square 25 2 plus 5 it is 7 6 square 36 3 plus 6 it is 9 7 square 14 9 which is 4 8 square 64 6 plus 4 10 which is 1 9 square 81 what is 8 plus 1 9 what are all the right hand side what are all the numbers that we got we got 1 4 7 or 9 if a number is a perfect square if a number is a perfect square left hand side all the possible cases we have taken square for all the possible digital sums we have taken right hand side these are all the possible digital sums if i square it i will get a perfect square right hand side i got 1 4 7 or 9 if a number is a perfect square extremely important logic sir if a number is a perfect square the digital sum should always be 1 4 7 or 9 if this is happening this should happen reverse may or may not be true 22 it is there what is the digital sum of 22 2 plus 2 it is 4 is it a perfect square it is not a perfect square so reverse may or may not be true if the number is a perfect square it should have digital sum 
वन फोर सेवन आर नाइन इफ ए नंबर डिजिटल सम इज अदर दैन वन फोर सेवन आर नाइन इट इज नॉट ए परफेक्ट स्क्वेर इफ इट इज वन फोर सेवन आर नाइन इट मे आर मे नॉट बी परफेक्ट स्क्वेर इफ ए गिवन टू चेक वेदर ए नंबर इज ए परफेक्ट स्क्वेर आर नॉट यूज द डिजिटल सम इफ द डिजिटल सम इज any number digit other than 14709 then it is not a perfect square then it is not a perfect square then it is not a perfect square now remember everything sir digital sum digital sum it is an elimination method it is an elimination method it is an elimination method you should know when to use digital sum when not to use Anyway, digital sum it will tell which answers are wrong it will tell which answer options are wrong it will never give you the exact right answer but it will tell you which answer options are wrong which answer options are wrong right when to use most of the teachers don't tell this that is the reason most of the students get confused when not to use when not to use when not to use when to use it can be used in all the decimal values wherever there is a terminating decimals terminating decimals it will help us in eliminating incorrect answer options when not to use you should never use this logic for a recurring decimals i will explain in detail by taking a problem you should never lose use these logic in the problems where the values are approximated very very important key point sir very very important key point many students will think that this method this method has merits and this method also got demerits you should have a very good understanding of usage of digital sum please make a note of it write digital sum digital sum is an elimination method it will only help if there are answer options it will only tell you which answer options are wrong by any chance if three are wrong fourth will be the option probably if there is a none of these or if there are two options with the same digital sum you will struck at this method digital sum when to use this digital sum digital sum is used for all the values when the when it is a terminating decimal when it is a terminating decimal now you please make a note of it what is a terminating decimal denominator can take either powers of 2 R five, R two and five. DR is a denominator. DR is a denominator. Only when the denom, if you can express denominator as a power of two or a power of five or a power of two and five, then it will result in terminating decimal. Otherwise, it is a recurring decimal. When not to use this concept, please don't use this concept. When the given decimal, it is a recurring decimal. Or if the question is saying about approximation question is saying about approximation now see here question questions please write down sir is 12321 is 12321 without doing the fundamentals let us not solve the problems is 12321 12321 a perfect square is 12321 a perfect square how to check whether a number is a perfect square or not now see here steps to check steps to check whether a number is a perfect square or not steps to check whether a number is a perfect square or not suppose take a number take a number unit digit unit digit cannot be 237r8 237r8 if the unit digit is 237r8 if the unit digit is 
टू थ्री सेवन आर एट देन इट इज नॉट ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इफ द यूनिट डिजिट इज टू थ्री सेवन आर एट इट इज नॉट ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इफ द यूनिट डिजिट इज नॉट टू थ्री सेवन आर एट गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर शुड बी ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर के आर फोर के प्लस वन फोर के आर फोर के प्लस वन फोर के आर फोर के प्लस वन दी समथिंग विच वी डिस्कस्ड फोर के आर फोर के प्लस वन नेक्स्ट वन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डू नॉट नो दिस फ्लो चार्ट If the number is not of the form 4k or 4k plus one, 4k or a 4k plus one. If it is not of the form 4k or 4k plus one, then it is not a perfect square. If it is of the form 4k or 4k plus one, then use the logic of digital sum 147 or 9. Then use the logic of digital sum. One four seven or nine. This flow chart should be extremely clear to you. If a number is given to you, how to check whether a number is a perfect square or not? If the unit digit is two three seven or eight, definitely it is not a perfect square. If the unit digit is not two three seven or eight, check whether the number is of the form four k or four k plus one. If it is not of the form 4k or 4k plus one, then it is not a perfect square. If it is of the form 4k or 4k plus one, then use this logic of digital sum of a perfect square. Now, step by step, we will see. There is a number given. Unit digit is not two, three, seven, or eight. This step is satisfied. Second step: check whether the number is of the form 4k or 4k plus one. Twenty one. Twenty one is four into five plus one. Answer is yes. Now apply digital sum. What is the digital sum of this question? Digital sum of this question is three nine eleven twelve. Digital sum is three. Then it is not a perfect square. I hope the idea it is clear. It is a three step process to check whether a number is a perfect square or not. First step. Perfect square never ends with two, three, seven, or eight. Second step: every perfect square should be of the form four k or four k plus one. If it is of the form four k or four k plus one, then its a digital sum should always be one four seven or nine. One four seven or nine. I hope the idea it is clear. Answer for this question is no. Answer for this question is question is. No, I hope the idea it is clear. Next one, second question is three questions will solve. Is one double two triple three four 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 a perfect square? Is one double two triple three four 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 a perfect square? This is nothing but one plus two plus two two square three plus three three square. Next is four square. This is nothing but sixteen plus nine plus four plus one. This is thirty. Again, the digital sum is three. Is it a perfect square? It is not a perfect square. It is not a perfect square. I hope the idea it is clear. Generally, in our textbooks, in our textbooks, in our textbooks, only these three will be given. Only these three will be given. One plus two plus three. Sum of the n natural numbers is n into n plus one by two. Sum of the squares of the natural numbers is and so on. Only these three will be there in your textbook. N into n plus one into two n plus one by six. Last one. Sum of the cubes, but in your examination he might ask you an another model also. N cube is n into n plus one by two whole square. These three will be there. Please make a note of remaining two. These two are very very important. Sum of the cubes of the odd numbers. One cube plus three cube plus five cube. It is nothing but n square into two n square minus one. Very very important. Please make a note of it. One square. Sum of the squares of the odd numbers: one square plus three square plus five square. It is given by n into four n square minus one by three. Please make a note of these two points, which you will not find it in the regular questions. 
these three most of you know it sum of the first and natural numbers sum of the squares of the first and natural numbers sum of the cubes these two are very important sum of the squares of the sum of the squares of the odd numbers n into 4 n square minus 1 by 3 n into 4 n square minus 1 by 3 sum of the cubes of the odd numbers 1 cube plus 3 cube plus 5 cube it is n square into 2 n square minus 1 n square into 2 n square minus 1 now why we discussed this because i got squares of the first four natural numbers so i thought what if the question is a sum of the cubes anyway this formula also we will not use in my averages class i will use it with the logic of progressions and a power n plus r minus b power n these two problems first two are basic problems how the questions will be asked in a cat we will see the third question these two please make a note of it this is something which you know this is something which you need to know now see here next one please write down sir this is a very very good cat question how many how many five digit numbers how many five digit numbers how many five digit numbers that can be formed how many five digit numbers that can be formed using the digits using the digits 1 2 3 4 5 repetition not allowed a cat replica question sir how many five digit numbers repetition not allowed are perfect squares are perfect squares very very good question based upon based upon the logic that we are discussing a cat replica question please write down this question put a star mark on this question this question is a very beautiful question how many five digit numbers that can be formed using the digits one two three four five first thing whenever you are solving a cat question or any of the aptitude question start reading the question underline the keywords i want a five digit number five digit number perfect that can be formed using the digits one two three four five these are the five digits repetition is not allowed repetition of the digits is not allowed if i am using one in any of the five places one cannot be used anywhere if i am using two anywhere in a particular place that cannot be used anywhere are perfect squares how many are perfect squares now see here total this place can be filled by any one out of the five digits one two three four or five repetition not allowed so remaining four digits one digit will come remaining three digits one digit will come remaining two digits one digit will come remaining one digit it will be there this place can be filled in five ways this place can be filled in four ways three ways two ways one way suppose here one can come two can come three can come four can come five can come if i fix one digit remaining four digits any one will come remaining three digits any one will come remaining two digits any one will come remaining one digit any one will come total one of one event after the other event five into four into three into two into one total 120 numbers are there 120 numbers which are all the numbers are perfect squares he is asking which all numbers are perfect squares he is asking very good question students who think logically will get this answer very fast can i say one number will be like this one two three four five is there any digit that is repeated no one two three four five all the five digits are used a number can also be like this five four one three two a number can also be like this four two five one three it can be any such number please find the digital sum of these number digital sum is 5 plus 4 9 12 14 15 15 it is nothing but 6 if i interchange the digits will the digital sum change 5 plus 4 9 10 13 15 15 it is 6 
4 plus 2 6 11 12 15 6 all the numbers digital sums are 6 1 plus 2 plus 3 is also equivalent to 2 plus 1 plus 3 it is also equivalent to 3 plus 1 plus 2 if i interchange the digits the sum of the digits will not change all the 120 numbers what will be the digital sum value digital sum value is nothing but 6 for a number to become a perfect square what should be the digital sum 1 4 0 7 or 9 answer is no five digit numbers are perfect squares from the digits 1 2 3 no five digit numbers satisfy the property very very good question he will not ask you by giving a number whether it is a perfect square or not if you observe first two, two questions are very primitive questions third question it is a cat replica question this is how i am going to take a cat class how many five digit numbers that can be formed using the digits one two three four five step wise again i am saying it is a five digit number units place tens place hundreds place thousands place ten thousands place step number one repetition of digits are not allowed so if i keep one here i cannot keep one anywhere else so the units place can be taken by any one out of the five digits remaining four digits remaining three digits remaining two digits remaining one digit it is one event is happening after another event total 120 numbers are formed suppose if i take example one number one two three four five repetition of digits is not allowed so if i change the order this can also be one number this can also be one number like this total 120 numbers are there what is the sum of the digits 9 12 14 15 6 6 6 6 all 120 numbers digital sum is 6 all 120 number digital sum is 6 for a number to become a perfect square digital sum should be 1 4 7 or 9 a beautiful cat replica question which is nothing but a conceptual question which is nothing but a conceptual question any student who listen to more and more concept driven youtube live classes anyway students right now are very smart by listening to a class they will understand whether a teacher is doing a lot of entertainment or he is giving you the concepts entertainment will make you happy but it does not serve the purpose